Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Semtex05. This is the fourth video tutorial of the mesh transition. In first video tutorial, I talked about 2D mesh transition. In second video, we talked about 3D mesh transition with tri elements. In third video, we are talked about such component where we have all element squared in transition zone. And this is the fourth video. In that also, we are going to discuss the same but with the different method. If you gone through the previous video, you may face little bit difficulty to use these options 3D, solid map and this general options. There you have to select every time source surface, destination, number of element which you want to match, say mixed and node path you have to choose and so on. You have to exercise more. And within the same if you want to define the transition then you have to exercise more and more. So to sort out this problem, we have one more options that is called multi-solid options within the same. See, we are in the 3D page, solid map and multi-solid options. This options is basically the same as general options but fully automated options. What it's mean? All the parameter that we feed it here like destination geometry, geometry along which I want to make connection or I want to define the elements. So we have to utilize this options multi solid. The important thing that you have to take here is source hint only. As you can see here, I already matched this particular component using 2D mass and those surfaces basically my source surfaces or source hint. Of course this massing we discussed in my all previous videos. So if you are worried about, you can go with those videos. Generally it is not recommended to select all solids at a time, but of course you can select those all solids likewise. Then you have to define the source end. So these are my source end, this one, not this one, refresh, instead of auto, go to the by top option, by component options and select these surfaces on which I defined the mesh. Then define the element size of 2. Of course, we don't want the element size 2 here in this particular zone. That's why I created x, y and z element. Accordingly, software will define minimum element size here and then to the remaining zones, remaining solids, it will define here element size 2. One more thing, I don't want here mixed type of element, I want only quad elements. Now click on mess and just wait. Go to the again wireframe mode or by topology mode and see how software define the massing. This is the secondary page of the command. If you are okay with this massing, then it's okay. Otherwise, you can modify. Like here, the element density is little higher. I'm just going to click on that edge and reducing element density. So now all element are quad element and mass flow is quite smooth. If you are okay with this and these lines here representing the drag direction actually. These element on the face going to be dragged these element going to be dragged here and similarly. Click on mess and just wait. That's all. The massing is completed. Go to the height geometry, go to the shift F3, select the component and click on find edge. Okay, we are not getting edges here due to the 2D element. Let me delete 2D element first. Element by configuration. The configuration is quad 4. Select entity and delete. Now again go to the same options, select the component, find edges, 
and go to the transparent mode. I am going to hide the previous component. Let us see. There is no edge within the component. That means all elements are connected and very easily we are able to refine the particular zone and we are able to define transition to make coarse meshing in these zones. So that is all for this command. As I told you in 3D solid map, multi solid, you have to select these solids one by one or maybe two or three solid. Sometime on the complex zones you can select few solids, mesh, then again proceed for next solids. In the same way, you can go with mesh this component. Here I have one example. This component, this plate component with central hole. Okay, this is not only the phase transition, but also along the depth direction we have transition. Let me show you. Go to the YFM mode, mask, go to the standard mode and hide this element. Mask and see. I am going to hide the geometry also. So, on the stress concentration region where I have hole, I having dense element, then along the y direction also I define the transition. So, here I have 20 element and at the end of the plate we have only 4 element. Similarly, here we have very dense element, then at the end of plate we have very coarse element. So, hope this options you feel very easy as compared to the previous two videos. But many times this options may fail for the complex geometries. Then we have to utilize the general solid options. We can manually control every section mass, every solid mass. But here the manual control is very less. This is basically automated of the first options. So, this is the fourth video and still the transition yet not finished. In the next video, we will discuss about the tetra transition. Then we will talk about some advanced transition options. Those options can be utilized for the CFD mesh transition. So, thank you for listening. If you have any query and question, you can ask me in the comment section. If you want to join my community on Facebook and Telegram, the link is available in the description. You are most welcome to join. Thank you again.